I have a few choice words for 2020. You know, maybe I should just surrender. Usually I'll go several months before throwing in the towel, but you 2020 are an opponent like none I have faced. Sure, we've had some other rough years. 2001, you were the one with September 11th. You know what you did. I'm still dealing with the aftermath of your evil ways. Every time I'm searched when I try to board an airplane or see a ball game, I still curse your name. 2011, you were just as nasty. On April 25th, you wrecked the lives of so many with a tornado outbreak that seemed endless. 2015, I had my fill of you in July with that terrorist attack on our military in Chattanooga. That was inexcusable. 2016, you were no better. Three days before Thanksgiving, you took six children from us in a school bus crash. You knew we could never recover from that, but you did it anyway. 2017, 18, and 19, I'm not going after any of you in particular, but don't stand there like you're innocent. You brought us mass shootings at schools, churches, and concerts, kids eating Tide Pods, and you took away Tom Petty. Not cool. Still, 2020, you know I'm an eternal optimist, so you convinced me you were different. But early on, people were whispering that you had something called a coronavirus up your evil sleeve. And just before spring, you unleashed it. You took away our sports, our hugs, our favorite sit-down restaurants. You won't even let us go to a movie or a concert. How could you? And you weren't finished. Just a few days ago, you wiped out our homes and businesses. But don't claim victory just yet, 2020. There are heroes out there ready to take you down. Good people, good neighbors doing repairs and cleanup, comforting those whose lives have been disrupted. They're offering a hot shower, coffee, a meal, a place to sleep, Wi-Fi, and more. There are firefighters and other rescuers who have saved lives and carried elderly folks on their backs after they were just hanging on for dear life. Here's to those good people. They don't like to be called heroes, but they are. Thanks to you, I think we can beat 2020 after all.